Hello, Namaskar. Uh, we have been, uh, we have been uh, doing this for so many years now, and uh, many of you have become dedicated, uh, you know, viewers. And I'm grateful to you for uh, this. Now uh, I'm going to show you a pen. Uh, the maker is someone to whom also I'm grateful to. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to this person. And I'm grateful not on my own accord, which I am. I am grateful to him on behalf of the entire fountain pen loving community here in India. You know, people like you and me, people who love fountain pens, who write found with fountain pens and inks, and people who crave new designs and people who consider this to be their hobby. Now, the person that I'm talking about is, of course, Mr. Orun Singhi, Arun Singhi ji of Lotus Pens. And I'm grateful because this man, despite his age, his ill health, and so many other, uh, you know, obstacles that life has thrown towards him has been churning out one beautiful pen after the other. And uh, as far as the fountain pen making, uh, this, this art goes, as a boutique organization, as a standalone person who's creating his own brand. And he has done it over the last couple of years. It's not that he has inherited his business, which his grandfather started. No, uh, on his own, he is a first generation entrepreneur and he's worked very hard and he has overcome everything and he has a single mindedly, uh, he has done so much for Indian fountain pens that I think these things needed to be said these things needed to be shared. These views needed to percolate down uh, to the community as such. And we should all be grateful and we should all thank him for what he is doing. Now, what I'll do right now is show you another lotus pen. This, the latest one that I've got. And uh, uh, I have a sizable collection of lotus pens and I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of them, I'm so happy with them that I am uh, going to do the unboxing. So here and, and, and as you can see, this man is continuously evolving. He's evolving not only, uh, not only are his pens evolving and going places, his boxes, his packaging, the love and care with which he's uh, presenting this entire package to you, everything is uh, going places. And I'm so grateful, you know, and this slides out, as you can see, we'll show you. And uh, another thing, this is this is new. This is new. Ink your imagination with handcrafted precision, it says. And uh, it shows you all the pens and uh, it's... I, I haven't gone through this. I'm opening it this for the first time. And... Uh, this is the Lotus Valentine and uh, as you can see, I, uh, this is the date of purchase is 15 7 2024 20, so and we are already in August so you know it's been some time. I, I didn't get the time to open this uh, up. It comes also with a you know this uh, a piece of uh, cloth that you can clean the pen with and inside is this beautiful pouch this regal pouch with a pen as the uh, piece that goes in and locks up the pouch and uh, let's show you the pen uh, what are we waiting for this is the pen now uh, when I was talking to Lo, uh, Arunji, the, you know, a couple of uh, weeks back, I had wanted a red pen, something that I could carry because 
I don't know. I, I, I wanted, I just wanted a red pen, a thick red pen that I could write uh, with. And he said, Dada, I've got the right pen. I know what you have in mind. And I, I wanted a different kind of a shape. And he said, I've got it. And this is a typical hourglass kind of a uh, pen, you know. I, I, I don't want to be uh, sexist or anything of that sort. That this is the kind of figure that looks with all the sand, an hourglass figure with all the sand that's uh, deposited in the bottom. Uh, that someone, God, has been very kind uh, to. This is the pen. Uh, it has the usual Schneider uh, 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 sorry, my fault, my fault, my bad not Schneider, this is Schmidt I, I, I keep mixing this up This these are Schmidt converters and uh, Lotus gets this uh, th 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 these are uh, exclusive uh, nibs uh, by Lotus uh, which he has and there's a small marking here which says what kind of a nib it is. Let me see if I can show you with uh, the AR, yeah, it's a M name and uh, this is the pen. You know, uh, as far as craftsmanship goes, this is way above the rest. All the accoutrements, the the jewellery that the pen comes with are well crafted and sleek and a bit understated. That's how I like things, you know, very gaudy or tacky. This may be red, but it's it's not gaudy. It's it's kind of a woman in red kind of thing. It's it's like a love story, you know. Doesn't matter what the woman did before she fell in love, but uh, uh, she was in love and it's love that we are celebrating. Uh, I am celebrating my love for fountain pens with this and uh, this is a beautiful pen. We will show you writing samples and I'm, I'm, I'm going to fill this up with red ink and show you writing samples but uh, this is the pen. I hope you like it. Uh, Arunji does not need any uh, uh, any what do you put it? How do you put it? How do you say it? He, he does not need my, you know, endorsement to be uh, where he is up there, uh, like among the gods of uh, fountain pens in India. And uh, I all I can do is pray for his long health and uh, wellness so that he can continue uh, giving us beautiful pens and and he has been so so uh, so creative in the way he has been making pens and so many types of pens so many classes of pens in so many different price points and i'm i'm i'm, I'm impressed i'm just impressed by this man's uh, you know, virtuosity. He he keeps just churning out new and newer pens, and uh, I am so happy to have this pen. Uh, I'm I'm going to go through this and uh, tell you, uh, and I'm going to. This has beautiful. It's it's been well done. Uh, I mean, well done. This is another nice touch. Indian pen and ink and stationery makers are taking their branding very seriously these days and which is a very good thing which is a very good thing I am excited because no longer are they in the seller's market they realize that they have realized that they cannot just you know hash up anything uh, put it in a plastic wrapper and sell it at a moomangi price at a price that they think uh, that the hapless buyers will pay that uh, we don't owe our hobby to them or our existence to them if you guys uh, are going to charge us prices that you see uh, the Americans pay for their uh, uh, pens or the Germans or the Europeans pay uh, on the net 
if you're going to charge us that price, you better <laughs> you know, give us that damn quality. You better give us something that's at least packaged so well, that at least can claim to pass off as a poor cousin from a third world country. Now, uh, please, please take it seriously. Look, look at Arunji. Uh, take your, learn your lessons from him. There are other examples also. There are other very good examples. And I hope to do a video on that, uh, showing you the companies and the brands that are taking the initiative, that are, uh, you know, leapfrogging ahead, uh, while the rest of the Me Too's are just following them. But uh, I, think I, I, I think I should end here with my, uh, again, my heartfelt thanks to Arunji for taking the leadership status that he has taken and uh, thanking you all for uh, being with me, for listening to me, for hearing me out for uh, please write please share your comments please tell me which pens you want me to uh, you know feature or do stories about and uh, thank you let's hope we meet again on the other side uh, of the weekend on another uh, episode of the Ink Happiness thank you